Let's face it, manually doing activities like running agility laps over and over isn't exactly thrilling, and as a result, thousands of players turn to botting. However, finding reliable and comprehensive information on the subject can prove to be a challenge. Well, look no further. This guide is intended to be the most comprehensive resource available out there. You can be confident that this guide will provide you with the necessary resources you need to succeed in your botting journey. We will cover various aspects from the most basic to the most advanced, ensuring that no relevant information is overlooked. To start your botting journey, the first thing you'll need, of course, is a botting client. Now there are several options available on the market, but after our own extensive testing, we have chosen to work with OSBot. Of course, you are free to explore other options and find the one that works best for you. Nevertheless, in our experience, OSBot has proven to be the most effective, so that is the client that we will recommend. Now to start botting, you'll obviously need to sign up for a free account with OSBot and download the OSBot client. With a free account, you'll have access to OSBot with the ability to run up to two clients at once. This should be sufficient if you only plan on botting one or two accounts, like a main and an alt. However, if you want to run multiple bots simultaneously, you'll need to upgrade to a VIP account, which only costs $10 a month. The VIP account also grants access to the Mirror Mode client, which plays the, through the official RuneScape client. Now that said, we currently advise against using Mirror Mode at this time, as it has a higher detection rate. As such, just stick with Stealth Injector for now. Be sure to join our Discord server for the latest updates on botting and recommended methods. And it's been observed that the conventional mouse option relies on a basic sine curve trajectory between two points, whereas the new option employs a more organic mouse movement. We highly recommend activating the new mouse option through the OSBot client, or by utilizing the option available within our bot manager, which we will elaborate on later. Now that you have the client set up, the next step would be to procure the accounts for botting. We strongly advise against purchasing Tutorial Island Ready accounts due to the numerous risks involved. These accounts may be prone to recovery if they are not obtained from a reliable source and are also at a higher risk of being banned as they are entirely botted. Now the best options for creating accounts are as follows. If you plan on botting a single account, we would advise to create it using your own home IP and bot on that same IP. However, if you intend to manually play legitimately on another account while botting, we would recommend that you buy a residential proxy, create the account through the proxy on the browser, and proceed to bot on that same proxy. We do suggest using residential proxies, so check out our link below in the video description where we provide residential proxies and a guide on setting up the proxy through a browser. Now before proceeding further, it's important to understand the significance of proxies in the context of botting. Essentially, proxies work in a similar manner to VPNs in that they enable you to conceal your own IP address and distribute your bots across multiple networks. Doing so can significantly reduce the risk of chain bans based on the IP. Now imagine that you have eight bots running on a single IP address. If one of these bots is detected by Jagex, there is a higher likelihood that the other seven bots will be detected as well. This is because Jagex can link all the accounts together by their shared IP address, and you may end up with getting a chain ban. However, by using proxies, you can spread out your bots across multiple IP addresses, reducing the risk of Jagex linking your accounts together. Now that you have an understanding of how proxies operate, Let's move on to the next section of this guide. Also, if you have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to ask in the comments section and I will be happy to assist you. In the event that you plan to gold farm, you will need to create many accounts to use based on the size of your farm. Detection typically begins in the browser when you open the account creation page. Creating accounts on the same IP is a common practice among gold farmers 
However, it increases the likelihood of detection and, consequently, bans. As such, we advise creating accounts using our Bot Manager. Our Bot Manager automates the account creation process and bypasses browser fingerprinting, employing a pool of millions of proxies to evade detection. Now, this eliminates the risk of browser bans and streamlines the creation process. You can check out the link in the video description to learn more about our Bot Manager. Once you have required the accounts, the next step is to complete Tutorial Island. Botting Tutorial Island is the highest risk thing in the game due to focused detection from Jagex. Even manually completing it through the OSBot client may also attract higher detection rates. As such, we recommend completing Tutorial Island manually using Rune Light and Proxifier with a proxy to minimize detection rates. You can also outsource this task to reputable Venezuelan service providers. You can check out our Discord server for a link where you can access such services. After Tutorial Island is completed, you may also wish to add some gold to your bots to make early botting easier. Now, For larger amounts, it's better to drop trade as large gold transfers can set off flags for Jagex. For smaller sums, however, we recommend using our muling script to automate the process. The muling script facilitates the transfer of any predetermined amount of gold or items that you specify within the script. The muler will meet your bots at a customized location and execute the trade. If you choose to add gold to a new account, we would recommend only transferring between 500,000 and a million GP. This should be enough to proceed with botting in the free-to-play worlds for several days before transitioning to members. Starting the accounts in free-to-play is recommended as it carries minimal risk while preparing the account for members or just making the account look more legit. Now here are some activities to get you started. You may opt to train your combat on hill giants or maybe moss giants. We sell a progressive hill giant script that begins at the chickens and gradually progresses to cows, Alcarid warriors, and finally hill giants. This script also enables you to kill Obor, thereby providing an additional opportunity to generate income while training your bot. The hill giant club, for example, currently sells for around 4 to 500 kgp. But to bot hill giants, it is important to have the necessary food and supplies. If you transferred gold to your bot, these can easily be acquired through our Grand Exchange Trader script, and then you can queue it for the next script in the Bot Manager. The Bot Manager automates tasks such as launching the client, starting and stopping the script, creating and unlocking accounts, muling, and much more. In addition, the Bot Manager allows for scheduling bots to run at specific times using the schedule mode, which utilizes your local PC time to start the bot. This automation makes training more streamlined, allows for maximum efficiency in the botting process, and it can be used to schedule realistic sleep breaks, making the bot appear more human-like. For free-to-play gold farm ideas, you can try chopping yew trees, killing obor, running a looting script, or through general skilling, all of which we provide scripts for included with some of our bot manager plans. A legitimate players almost never play accounts with one or two specific skills leveled up, so we recommend training several skills across the account. Included in two of our bot manager plans, there is an account builder script that trains 11 skills, allowing you to prepare your accounts for more advanced activities in pay to play. For example, you can use the account builder to bot 82 fishing and get your accounts ready for fishing minnows or you can level up your skills to blend in with real players. Ultimately, the possibilities of free-to-play botting are endless with the right tools and strategies, and this account builder is fully automated. Once you add in your desired levels and pick your training locations and other preferred settings, it will be able to run all on its own. Once you have prepared your accounts through free-to-play botting, you can then transition to botting in pay-to-play worlds. To easily switch to pay to play worlds, you can utilize the bond buyer feature within our scripts. From there, you can select multiple bots within the bot manager's dashboard 
and choose a random pay-to-play world to transfer them to. Once transferred, you can then launch your bots and begin using them for different money-making activities in pay-to-play. Now for pay-to-play botting, there are far more methods available for gold farming. You can choose to do the Crazy Archaeologist, Red Chinchampas, Black Chinchampas, Seracnus, King Black Dragon, Minnow Fishing, Blood Runecrafting, Master Farmers, Mage Training Arena, Undead Druids, Elder Chaos Druids, or Regular Chaos Druids. Each method has its own unique benefits and profitability, and our blog located on our website provides in-depth explanations for each one. Now, we will often run our bots 24-7 with breaks in order to maximize returns. However, running them in rotations is also possible. For instance, you can run a batch of 20 accounts for 12 hours, and then start another 20 accounts once the initial batch has completed the first 12 hour run. This way, you can fully utilize your server 24 seven if you happen to be paying for one. And when setting your breaks, we recommend using shorter run time and break times. We will keep those specific settings private on here for security reasons. However, our account builder script provides recommended break ratios that you can use. Once you have accumulated enough gold, you can sell it on various platforms. Simply search for Sell OSRS Gold on Google and select the platform with the best rates and ratings. You can also try selling your accounts on similar platforms. We recommend using player auctions for account selling, but the best way to sell accounts and gold is to create your own YouTube channel and sell it to your audience. This approach will give you a better rate and more opportunities for monetization. For instance, you can become an affiliate to Botting Hub, create various series, encourage people to make a purchase with your affiliate link or code, which will earn you a 20% commission. We have an affiliate who earned over $800 in payouts with only four videos. And we've included the link to our affiliates page below in the video description, along with other benefits you can receive. Finally, getting accounts to the point where they make gold or can be sold requires you to avoid being detected as a bot. After account creation, one of the best things you can do is to diversify the skills trained on your account. Accounts that only have one skill trained are more likely to be flagged as bots, so it is recommended to use the account builder to train random stats. Additionally, botting quests can also be helpful in avoiding profiling. You can use a script like Stealth Quester to bot one to two quests per day, as this is the safest approach. Another way to make your account look less like a bot is to obtain unique things such as a fire cape. There are now scripts available that can be used to complete the fight caves and obtain a fire cape. While it is possible to complete it with lower levels, we recommend having at least 70 defense and 80 range for a higher chance of success. I've provided a link to the script that I use below. And we hope that this guide has been helpful and informative and that you've gained some value from it. If you are interested in receiving one-on-one -on -one coaching from us, you can purchase our paid guide for $25 and receive personalized assistance in our exclusive customers only Discord server. For the best botting tools, be sure to visit our main website at bottinghub.com for all of your botting needs. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos in the future. Thank you for watching.